Hello there, I'm Black Bright, and I just wanted to talk about the PPI deadline, which is the 29th of August this year, just three months away at midnight. Now, um, they reckon that how many 64 million um, PPI policies were missold? That is payment protection insurance. And what it was meant to do was if you you took out a mortgage or a car loan or any kind of loan they would have said to you oh you need to take out this insurance and um, just in case you go off sick or if you lose your job and most people because they weren't sure about their circumstances they paid for the PPI insurance um, I remember I did it but I don't know um, what I did with the policy or whatever like that but the fact of the matter is is that a lot of people did it and like for people who work for the government they if they lost their job they'd be paid redundancy if they were off sick they would get sick pay so these people who were selling PPIs they were selling it to people who may never claim it or who they didn't need to sell it to. And that is where the big scandal broke out. And it's nearly 20 years ago. I can't believe it's so long ago. Anyway, there's 34 million still pounds. No, hold on a minute. Let me get that right. Uh, 34 billion has been already paid out. Um, and how much is there left to be claimed? I think... Oh, maybe I didn't write it down. Yeah, but I know it's in, oh, 10 billion has not been claimed. I knew I wrote it down somewhere. So 64 million were missold. 34 billion has been paid out in compensation. Hmm. Okay, and 10 billion have not been claimed. Does that make sense to you? Is that maths? I don't think it's maths. If 64 million PPI policies were missold, how can 34 billion be paid out in compensation? Don't ask me. I wonder if that was 64 billion. Anyway, I don't know. It has to be 64 billion, doesn't it? Otherwise, the you know, I can't do the maths. Anyway, the long and short of it is that um, the people who were selling the PPIs were getting a large commission. So they was really pushing it. And they said the companies included, um, play, um, this is by according to the Sunday Telegraph, um, yesterday Sunday Telegraph, American Express, Volkswagen, Volkswagen, J.D. Williams, Mercedes-Benz, John Lewis, Debenhams, Miss Selfridges, Wallace, Laura Ashley and Fennick. Now, I had one of those cards that was Miss Selfridge and it was combined with Debenhams. And um, I had an account number and everything. And when I sent it off, they said, oh, they couldn't find the account number. So, you know, you're not always lucky to get through. They reckon you don't need any paperwork. But if you don't have any paperwork, it's harder to prove. And then if you don't have the dates, you, you know, it's... It's just a lot of, it's a lot, it's money for the people who are trying to claim it on your behalf, basically. If you try to do it on yourself, you're very likely to be unlucky or you're not going to get it. And if you do it through somebody, you know, you get a pits back. So I don't know how it works. I wasn't very fortunate with it. But, you know, some people, some people are quite lucky. I mean, the thing is, the art is, if you were doing it for a long time, like if you were taking a mortgage on PPI insurance and you were doing it for like, say, 15 years or something, then you're likely to get quite a lump sum back. But if you took out a mortgage and like what I did, I mean, mortgage within a year and I didn't, you know, and I paid off that, that amount within the time that had the PPI on it, I'm not going to get nothing, I'm not going to get nothing back because it wasn't enforced for long enough. Um, the type of things, like I said, what they used to sell it on was mortgages, car loans, credit cards and store cards. So if you took out a store card or a credit card, you might not have realised this, but they would have said to you, uh, will you take out PPI insurance to protect, to protect the loan, basically. And that's how they did it. 
So this is short and sweet. I hope it makes sense. PPI is Payment Protection Insurance. It ends, just a summary, it ends on the 29th of August. If you have any kind of inkling that you may be entitled to it, that you took out a mortgage or a car loan, um, it's worth giving it a bash if you've got nothing better to do. And um, yeah, like they said, there's 10 billion to be claimed. Ah, oh, I just worked it out. 64 million PPI policies were missold, but it's 34 billion pounds that's been paid out in compensation. So, yeah, it's right. Okay, then, and that's all for now. Take care now. Bye bye.